Let's do a little more difficult Newton's second law um, question. So I've got a block of wood attached to a table. A bullet is traveling 400 meters per second. It enters the block of wood, um, pushes a hole right through the block of wood, and exits the block of wood at 100 meters per second. It takes 4 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds to do this. The bullet's mass is 8 grams. What was the force that the block exerted on the bullet to slow it down? And how thick is this piece of wood for this to happen? So give it a try. Press pause, give it a try. And then when you've tried it, come back if you need help. OK, so I guess you tried it or you didn't try it. Well, let's give it a go. So I want to know what the force on the block of wood is. Well, that's a Newton's second law problem. And so we use F net equals MA. So for part A, F net equals MA. What are the forces on the bullet? Well, the force in the direction that we're interested in is uh, the force of the block. So the force of the block is equal to the mass of the bullet times the acceleration of the bullet. So um, I have the mass of the bullet. I've got to change that into kilograms because we must use kilograms, meters, and seconds, and meters per second. But I don't have the acceleration, so I've got to figure that out. Well, let's go over here and figure that out. I have the initial velocity of the bullet, 400 meters per second. The final velocity of the bullet, 100 meters per second. And I have the time, 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. So this is a good example of when kinematics comes into play with your Newton's second law formula. So I'm going to have to find the acceleration. Well, I'm going to use my v2 minus v1 over t. So the acceleration is 100 minus 400 divided by 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. So the acceleration is going to be negative. And let me do the calculation in my head. Okay, 750,000 meters per second squared. And you can put that in a scientific notation, but that'll do for now. So it's backwards. Okay, so I can plug that in here. Fb equals the mass. 8 divided by 1,000, that turns into kilograms, times negative 750,000. The force on the block, 8 divided by 1,000 times negative 750,000 is negative 6,000 newtons, if I did that correctly. So what's the force on the block? Force of the block is 6,000 newtons, and which way would it be? Backwards. So we'll say uh, backwards. There's our answer. Now for part B, it says, what's the thickness of the block of wood? Well, for part B, that's a kinematics problem. Because D is one of my kinematics variables. It's not in my F net equals M in Newton's second law formula. So really, it's just, well, what numbers do I have in the kinematics? I've got V1, V2, T. So I can find D. Uh, but I also have the acceleration. So I have a choice of some uh, different formulas. So I'm going to use um, this one. D equals V1 plus V2 over 2 times T. D equals um, 400 plus 100 divided by 2 times 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4. So the displacement or the thickness of the wood is uh, 0.1 meter thick. Okay? There you go. 